This is the 1991-92 Fleer, number 29, Michael Jordan. This will be a quick one, but it's the first 91-92 Fleer that we've done on this channel. This was late August of 1991 when Fleer released their sixth consecutive set since their 1986-87 cards. Now, 1991-92 was probably the most significant design change yet for Fleer. It was a complete departure from the centered photo surrounded by a border. Instead, off-center to the left, right here, there was this small strip of dark blue imprinted with all of these NBA logos. It continued just a little bit on the right. Then the photo was shifted to the right, and it made up the majority of the card. Um, the reverse of these cards is really impressive. It was the first time that Fleer had a full color reverse. And then the hardwood background, that was a great idea. In addition to that, not only do we have a headshot of the player, as we're used to up to this point, but there's this small action shot as well. So a lot of stuff included on the reverse of the card. Uh, really neat. Now, this 1991-92 Fleer set was part of this wave of, I guess we could say, more equals better in basketball cards. The set was expanded. There were 240 cards in Series 1, and then another 160 in an update set. This was a total of 400 cards. So we're getting big, getting big with these sets. Now, like NBA Hoops had been doing, this Fleer set did have all-star cards and coach subsets, but they also included a subset of slam dunk participants. That was a unique feature. Um, now, not only was the number of cards in the set growing larger, but the number being printed was staying excessively high as well. This is still the junk wax era here, so unfortunately the cards have limited value due to overproduction. Now, in this Michael Jordan number 29, you can see Fleer using this new design in a really unique, cool way. Notice his elbow overlapping that dark, dark blue border. That's really neat. I mean, it shows that not only was the structure redesigned, but the decision was made that that new border wasn't going to limit the action, even if it meant that the photo had to bleed onto the border. I think that's really neat, that elbow overlapping. This is definitely the first Jordan we've looked at featuring a rebound in the photograph. But it's a pretty good picture of a rebound. It really is. There's Horace Grant in the corner, kind of looking on. Um, I want to point out one statement on the reverse of the card. I really think it captures Jordan's dominance at this point in his career. So you take yourself back to when you were buying these 91-92 Fleer cards. Um, I want to read this one. Jordan captured his fifth straight scoring title in 1990-91 and also annexed the MVP award. Well, I want to focus on the first part of that, the fifth straight scoring title. You need to remember and imagine getting this card back then. This is five scoring titles in only seven seasons. And he was injured for one of those. Right there, you can see 18 games in the 85-86 season. So, I mean, can you imagine five scoring titles in seven seasons? And one of them, you're hurt. Yeah, that's impressive. So, there's nothing too distinctive to say about this card. I mean, it's not particularly rare. This uh, particular video, we don't have any errors or variations of the card. It's just a nice card to enjoy. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.